Hello, YouTubers, and all those who happen to watch. Ha, 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 Oh, man. So, okay, as my throat is destroyed now, I'm going to talk to you guys about a couple games I got in the mail. Now, these are a little bit periodical, so... Okay, there's two games today, by the way. And the first one here is Bomberman Fantasy Race. Now, obviously, on the set, the PlayStation 1, and... It's a racing game, Herp or Derp. It has the elements of, you know, those kind of kart racing games. At the same time, it kind of has its own little elements because the way it mixes everything in. And this was uh, obviously made by Hudson Soft, but it was published by Atlas because now Hudson Soft don't have the funds to really publish anything too much anymore. I mean, they're a great company, don't get me wrong, but, you know, that's just how it is. And... It has over 15 crazy power-ups, two-player action. I'm reading the back here, so yeah, I might give you guys some flavor. And and it's it's just an a crazy little game. I mean, I looked at some of the gameplay footage for it. It looked cool. I liked the, what I was seeing. And that's all that matters. So with that said, it looks like this game got cracked open, just left on a shelf, and that was it. But hey, looks cool. Let's dive in after so, okay, the next game I got here was from a website called Yard Sailor. Now, I got this, I, I like giving credit when credit's due. Uh, my friend uh, Danny, which is a Cree boy, which is also known as Big Daddy Darth, uh, showed this website to me. Yardsailor.com, which is uh, not spelled with an E-R, it's just spelled Yardsailor.com. You can check it out there. And uh, on the website... They had, you know, if you sign up through Facebook, as people go, oh, I don't want to do that, give me my personal information. Well, at least now if you know if your stuff gets bootlegged, you will know which website did it, and you can report them to the Better Business Bureau, and their website will get shut down, you'll get your account stuff back, blah, blah, blah. Or you can just make a bogus Facebook account with a bogus real name. I mean, and that's pretty much how you can do it that way, if you want to try the website out. It'll take you a couple moments make yourself a Facebook account because if you do uh, you get a five dollar voucher from their website now if you get referred by somebody or if you can refer somebody or whatever vice versa uh, you get a five dollar extra voucher now I'm not trying to promote these guys saying you know go today I'm getting commission off that no it's just me from my personal experience in the website I think it's actually kind of nifty at the same time I think it's kind of cool for those who are selling stuff as well now, while there's usually not too much luck for people when they're trying to sell, like, you know, simple common games or games they think they should sell at a certain average price on eBay, they should try to make prices that are competing with eBay to try to sell their items nonetheless or make something interesting out of the post. So, what this website is, is pretty much trying to combat an eBay when it comes to selling things online. However, I'll go into a moment what happens with people when they try to buy things, which it kind of grits my teeth about. At the same time, I kind of treat it like it's sales tax. So, Now, sales tax is what I mean. The idea behind this is actually kind of cool. It saves you money because either way, you're going to be paying this towards the seller because most sellers on eBay try to charge you a little bit extra to help pay for their fees from their listing. And that's how they sneak in that extra shipping price on the item, even though you only pay $1.50 for the damn shipping when you get it to your house. Uh, with this website, is they charge you usually like a dollar sixty. That's how much I paid for this item total, by the way. I usually don't like to give the prices out anymore too much because you know it's kind of you know assholeish. And I pretty much got this game right here in the box with the game for a dollar sixty, and that was total because I didn't have to pay anything extra. It was a free shipping. And, again, they only charge you for the website tax, which I call website tax, even though it's just uh, them trying to stick their hands into your pocket. But uh, what it is, is they, rather than charge the seller, again, they charge you for like, a small minimum fee, and they make money off that, so that way the listers can sell, li sell and list their stuff for free. Which is cool, because it means you could do that too, and, you know... Try your best to find things you can sell on the website and try to balance your ways of selling things. Well, I can see the website still being early, even though it's kind of been out for a little while. I just never noticed it before. I gotta say, it's actually kind of nifty, again, because it reminds me a little bit of eBay, a little bit like a, a Craigslist, and then like a yard sale. So, I mean, I might be buying things in the future from here, there, there, everywhere. 
And um, it's going to be very dependent though because it has to be, I have to find something good on the website for me to whip out my, you know, and buy stuff. So, nonetheless, I, and the funny thing about this too is it came in good shape. It came typically like how you get from eBay. So, I have to clean that cart nonetheless because I think it's probably filthy. But uh, the funny thing about it too is if you sign up with uh, Facebook, as I mentioned before, they use your name on the Facebook. So what happened was they called me Worthy Universe as my name. I, I, I just thought that was funny. I think the person who was selling this item to me was probably having a good chuckle about it. But, um, <laughs> you know, it uses your alias from Facebook. Not too bad. So nonetheless, you know, it came in this envelope. I keep on saying nonetheless a lot, I know, I'm sorry. So, came in this envelope, came like that. That's all I can say. So, I could say trust the website, and you'd go pretty well with that. So, yeah, if you are looking for a cheap, free alternative to eBay, if you're a seller, try this website out. You might not have true success at first. You have to keep on trying at it. Or... You can, you know, buy something from a website because they give you like a five dollar voucher if you have like a Facebook account. Which, again, only shop on it um, carefully. Meaning, you know, if you want to use your Facebook account, or try not to. Try using an alien, a different web, like make a new one up or something like that, just to try it, just in case you might feel un easy about it. Because if there, if the, if anything ever does happen to that Facebook account, people are wondering, wow, you're making me feel at ease, at ease about this shit. Now, hear me out, I'm just trying to uh, see it in both perspectives of how most people would see it. Then, you know, just make a bogus account and try it that way. So, if it works, you can use that Facebook as, you know, have, a, have that Facebook on lockdown, don't have any friends on it whatsoever, don't have any crap on it, just use it for that website. Or swap over, make another account, and just use it that way, because... Uh, one of the extra things about the website too is every time you buy something, they give you credits towards that website, towards a uh, yard sailor, and they allow you to, you know, have so much money off certain items on sale on the website, which is sold by independent, eh, independent people. So, you know, that's pretty much how that is. So, yeah. That's pretty much all I have to say in this video for now. I thought the website is kind of cool. It's again, Approach at your own caution, at your own leisure, and, you know, I'm going to go play these new pickups I got, so take it easy, folks. Thank you guys so much for watching.